if you think of it, Tesla did this some years ago, but we only looked at the energy transfer of the work of Tesla. If you extend the knowledge in the work of the understanding of the strength of the matter condition, that now we have managed to convert the matter into its plasma, capturing materials from the space of universe in the magnetic field of strength and converting them to the matter state of what we need at a given strength, it becomes very easy. We saw Peter some year, two years ago, showed us how he could create conditions to create matter. This is, in a way, now, Earth gravitational magnetic field dictates what field we can absorb and collect. This has become possible, as now, we have moved into the dynamic reactors without motors. We have moved into dynamic reactors, where the material is dictated by the strength of the matter, and not by limitation of the copper winding, and other elements in the motors. In the same process, what we have to understand, is the totality of the structure of the human body and how we can apply this technology in a very different way on the human race, on every aspect of this application. How we can um, extract materials, how we can add materials, how we can increase the production or decrease the use of. Um, some times ago, we looked at the transfer of energy. We looked at transfer of understanding the work of different systems. But, what is important for us? With the new, what we call, free plasma flow systems without motors, a new opportunity and horizon of knowledge, for knowledge seekers has come and many of you will switch into it very rapidly. Development of the new systems, like the new plasma systems we have developed, which uses no motors, and now we see creation of new systems, which has no energy, but works through frequencies of matter state, a lot of positions will become clear for a lot of our knowledge seekers. In so many ways, the whole structure of technology has changed. The whole structure of understanding the technology has changed. And into what limit we can extend it, we can apply it, we can depend on it, and we can allow our knowledge to expand from now on, is on the total interpretation of technology. We had enough time, all of us, to play with different aspects of technology. Now, as we enter a full space teaching, as we enter a full understanding of the space technology, we need to start looking beyond the process of what we started at Gans's and every other thing. Application of the field is what the game is. Not anymore we can produce Ganses. What does this imply? What are the implications of the new way, this way? And it is very, very simple.
we do not need to create food. We do not need to mass produce medicine. We do not need to extract and hold in so many ways where we are heading to or in the direction we are going to is if you remember we speak about the thalamus and the thalamus gland of the human body man knowledge at this moment as you have a cash foundation knowledge seekers is at the level as we said the man in the north pole does not get apple and orange to give vitamin c does not get uh, milk that he has his calcium he does not get any other things that we are told is the best way and what ratio we have to eat to be healthy people and has been surviving on the seal and other things, very little vegetation in the North Pole. The only reason he can survive in that environment is because his thalamus, thalamus together convert material at the magnetic field energy level, not as zinc and copper. And with the present knowledge and what we have gathered as what we call dynamic systems, creation and creation of plasma, man's knowledge now is at that stage. Or will start developing in that direction from now. So in space we do not need to carry the screwdrivers and the bolts and nuts and which one has to be the copper and which one has to be zinc and can we have a wooden screw and the rest of it. Because if you understand the process of the production and the work of the body of the man, then freely we can produce any material from one basic understanding of the work. And this is what, if you're knowledge seekers, those of you who are handy with your works and understand these things, need to start working on. This is the way the research centers are seen to be able to go, to develop, to evolve to. And this is what we see that the next generation of the Keshe Foundation Plasma Scientists will be able to merge. We have no choice, we have no option with this. We have no other way to be able to go in this path. the creation of material, the production of the energies and the conversion of matter to energy and energy to matter, which is the key part of the teachings and has been, now has to be brought up into completion. I know there are many Keshe Foundation people who are working in the background in different ways and levels and research and they are trying to reach to the stage that they can develop everything they like. This is where it's coming from.